My name is David Lee Summers, and I'm reading from No One Alone, which is part of the anthology Other Ether. Onofre Cisneros tightened a coupling, then stood back and examined his work. He studied a set of plans and nodded, satisfied the new engine should function as expected. As he filled a cylinder with potassium chlorate, a knock sounded at the door. Come in, he said, as he screwed a cap on the cylinder. The woman who entered Onofre's workshop, Estrella Mondragon, had shoulder-length black hair, dark brown eyes, and curves he longed to know as intimately as he did the engine before him. Papa wanted to know if you could help him with the rudder on his boat. I'd be happy to, but... Onofre wiped his hands on a rag and fought the urge to step closer. Should you be here alone, without a chaperone? She reached into the folds of her voluminous skirt and revealed a six-gun concealed within, then winked as she returned it to its hidden pocket. I can chaperone myself, thank you very much, Signor Cisneros. My father wouldn't have it any other way. Your ability to defend yourself reassures me. He smiled, then indicated the engine. Before we go, do you want to see what I've been working on? Another invention? She quirked an eyebrow. He shrugged. Not exactly an invention, but I have made improvements. He went to the small engine, a metallic block about three feet on a side with cylindrical tanks attached. Onofre opened two valves. A whoosh sounded as chemicals mixed. Within a few minutes, a gurgling started. Pistons began to move, and a shaft protruding from underneath the block began to spin. Onofre clenched his fist and grinned. It works! Estrella took a cautious step toward the engine and examined it. It looks like a steam engine, but I don't see a firebox or smoke. You won't. Onofre pointed to two of the cylinders. A reaction of potassium chlorate, manganese dioxide, and zinc boils the water. A fairly small amount in a controlled release will keep the engine running for hours. Estrella narrowed her gaze. Still, there's got to be some exhaust. Estrella had been around boats long enough to have a passing familiarity with steam engines. Onofre smiled at her and pointed to another cylinder. There is, and it's captured here. He turned another valve and a vent hissed. He motioned the gas toward his nose. Ah, fresh air. The engine's exhaust is just air. Onofre closed the engine's valves. Well, oxygen, but that's much better than smoke, especially if you want to use this engine in a special type of boat. What type of boat did you have in mind? A submarine boat. Onofre held his hand toward the heating unit. Once satisfied it no longer generated heat, he grabbed a small tool kit, then led Estrella outside. A brilliant blue sky hung overhead, and the Pacific Ocean's waters lapped a nearby beach. They lived in Rancho Ensenada de Santos, a small seaside village in Mexico's Baja California province. So peaceful, unlike much of Onofre's life before he moved to the seaside village. A boat? You're a mining engineer. Estrella stepped closer, but refrained from actually touching Onofre, which would be improper. Onofre glanced around at the mountains that ringed the little seaside village. I was a mining engineer, until the Americans opened more profitable operations north of the border. She waved his words aside. The important part is that you made good money, and that's what would keep me from serving you calabasas, should you ask my father for my hand in marriage. When a man proposed marriage, a meal would be served. If the woman served the man squash, it meant the offer had been rebuffed. Onofre rubbed his neck. In truth, he had spent much of his money on the engine. You see, the money won't last. I need to find something sustainable. He held his hand out toward the bay. If I can build the submarine boat and demonstrate its usefulness, 
Maybe I can find an investor and build more. She batted her eyelashes at him. It almost sounds like you would enjoy that. Perhaps more than coming home to a signora who loves you very much. He flashed a charming smile and doffed his hat. Ah, mi corazón, I am no one alone. Your love would complete me.